Welcome back. Maybe you didn't know it, but an array of beautiful wildflowers grow right here in Mobile. All you have to do is travel to the Mobile River Delta to spot irises and lilies. You might also hear the sounds of alligators and birds while you're there. News 5 meteorologist John Odar takes you on a tour through the Delta. It's springtime and I'm deep in the Mobile River Delta with Bill Finch. We're here to see irises and lilies. There's a proverb that says, consider the lilies, they neither toil nor spin. Reminds me of the motor on Bill's boat. In the motor-free quiet, you can hear the birds and the frogs and a very low, low tone. That's gators, lonely gators. It's mating season, so they're trying to find a mate. Jimbo Meador is with us. He grew up in the Delta, and it's been a part of him for more than 60 years. This is where I come when uh, I want to know that there's some good things going on in this world. And it's right here. The lower delta is like a prairie. Uh, okay, a very wet prairie. A wet prairie filled with flowers in the spring. All of these iris and all of these delta lilies, man, they are at their peak right now. They're really beginning to open, really beautiful. We'd go to Colorado to see the wildflowers. We'd go to New Mexico to see the wildflowers. Where'd we go to see wildflowers? North Carolina, places like that. And here they are, right here. We covered miles of Delta and saw lots of cool things. A bald eagle wheeling overhead, the red bill of a common gallinule, an osprey with lunch to go. These pictures are by photojournalist Jason Garcia. So in all, there were four people in one boat, and we saw lots of beautiful things on the Delta. Just us four. We didn't see another human all day. Hope we can do a better job of of giving ourselves some access on the edges where you don't have to have a big boat and you don't have to brave the alligators to see these beautiful wildflowers. So when you're in a place like this, you can't help thinking the big thoughts about nature and beauty and preservation. But the fact is, Jason and I are here because Bill and Jimbo wanted us to see this. And we want you to see this, just to consider the lilies. Meteorologist John Nodar, News 5.